Now, from Into Tomorrow, this is an ITTV special report. We're in San Francisco, California this week at the Game Developers Conference. Hi everyone, I'm Dave Graveline. Welcome Into Tomorrow. So much to see and do here at GDC. We want you to take a peek at the show floor and that's coming up. But first, this Into Tomorrow ITTV special report is brought to you in part by NewEggBusiness.com. They're making IT simple with their everyday low prices. Get up to $300 off instantly on select HP ProLiant servers. Only for a limited time and only at NewEggBusiness.com. Intel is hosting the three-hour radio broadcast this week from here at GDC, so we don't want you to miss a minute of that. Meantime, take a peek at some of the cool stuff on the show floor here at the Game Developers Conference. Here at the Intel booth at uh, the Game Developer Conference, we're showing how Intel works with the developer community to make sure that the newest games, the hottest games, are going to run great on our second generation Intel Core processor family. And what we're doing on top of that is making sure that the developers have the tools they need so that they can reach the largest market possible. When they tune their software using our Intel Graphics Performance Analyzer tool, for example, uh, it helps them make sure that the frame rate, the detail, and the playability of those games is going to work great when you fire up your new second gen Intel Core processor based PC. We're launching the NeuroSky Mind Waves. It's the first brainwave reading headset for the mass market. This is a Mindways wave being used with the Puzzle Box system. Here we're playing a Call of Duty game where people are going through and we're tracking their brain waves as they play the game. We can see what makes you concentrate, what makes you relax, and how you're reacting to the games. What Intel has done with the second generation Core i5 is we still have that great performance that people expect for their house, for their home, for their kids, for educational games, but also for new games that are coming out like uh, StarCraft, the latest World of Warcraft, Shogun 2. These things aren't just going to work on my big, expensive, overclocked, water-cooled box. They're going to work on those second, gen second generation Core i5 processor systems and now everybody can play it. More to see in just a moment, but want to remind you, do you already subscribe to our free once a week tech newsletter? If you don't, all we need is your email address, which by the way, we don't share with anyone. Just type it into the red box right on our main page at intotomorrow.com. Com. And did you know you can participate on Into Tomorrow anytime, 24-7, at 1-800-899-INTO. That's 800-899-4686. I'm here at the uh, Nintendo booth at GDC, and we are excited to be showing off the new Nintendo 3DS. Here it is right here, Nintendo 3DS. Now, um, the first thing you might notice about it is there's two cameras on the outside. This lets you take 3D pictures that you can share with people. And you know, we're even talking about maybe doing some 3D video you'd be able to take on your own. Nintendo 3DS is a whole new generation of handhelds from Nintendo. Um, this is not simply an extension of the DS line. It's a, it's a whole new thing. Uh, the way this, this uh, is more social and uh, you know more connected than any uh, handheld device we've ever put out. Uh, a lot better graphics than any device we put out. Of course, 3D without the need for special glasses is is amazing, and um, you know you really have to see it to believe it. Intel SSD takes gaming to a new level. We have a new product coming out, which is actually launched today. It's a 510 series. Essentially, what it does is it launches uh, fast and land safe. We're able to launch a game faster, get into the game faster, and outbeat your competition. We're building high performance desktops, totally custom uh, for gamers, for anybody who needs a lot of power, and we're also building uh, high end laptops. This is our brand new Eon 15S. 
It is a uh, laptop, a 15-inch screen, uh, the Intel second generation Sandy Bridge mobile processor, and NVIDIA 485M graphics. We're talking about the Intel App Up Developer Program here today. Uh, we're talking to game developers about how they actually get their apps into our Intel App Up Center App Store. And our newest news is that we're talking about Mego. We've recently launched our App Store for Mego, and so we're inviting developers to get their C, C++ apps in with our SDKs. And we've also got a lot of exciting developer opportunities right now, including our Intel App Up Developer Challenge. You can find out more about that at appdeveloper.intel.com slash opportunities. I'm producer on ruined.com uh, for Big Point. This is a browser game using the Unity 3D plugin. Um, it's a third person uh, action shooter game, uh, Deathmatch. And there's six different characters you can play in three different arenas, all based here in San Francisco, uh, inspired by the city that we built the game in. Behind me is one of the games that we're, uh, we're working on. This is a cross-platform game where you can actually play on the PS3, the PC, uh, the iOS, the iPad, and the Android platforms with the same game uh, and, and cross-play across all those platforms. So it's really exciting. We'd love to see it. So we're Roblox, uh, roblox.com. We are a uh, massively multiplayer uh, kids game. Uh, and we started in 2006, and we're one of the largest kids gaming sites on the internet. Uh, and we're one of the largest MMOs, period, with over one million active users. Uh, we have a multi-million dollar virtual economy. Uh, kids buy virtual currency, get virtual goods like uh, a hat, gear, that sort of stuff. This portion of this week's Into Tomorrow ITTV special report from the Game Developers Conference here in San Francisco is brought to you in part by DiskKeeper and their performance software with Intellarite, the only product available today that actually prevents up to 85% of fragmentation before it happens. Get it at DiskKeeper.com. As always, if there's anything that you've seen on this week's ITTV update or heard on our three-hour radio show this week, we invite you to join us. Ask the questions, make the comments, let us know what you think about some of the things you've heard and seen, and we'll include you on the program. Of course, all things I are Android devices, your iPhones, iPad, iPod, whatever the case. It's easy now to participate, just a button away from winning some fabulous prizes for letting us hear you on the radio show. And of course, you can always check out all three hours of the radio show and all of our other videos, which we hope you subscribe to as well, at intotomorrow.com. Meantime, we're back in our Miami studios next week, hoping to hear from you. I'm Dave Graveline in San Francisco. Thanks for joining us at the Game Developers Conference on Into Tomorrow. Stay tuned. Thank you.